good morning students here i am back with our eighth poem the patriot by robert browning now in our previous uh, video i had given you all a brief summary of this particular poem the reason why i gave you a little summary was that you all can have an overall overall outlook of the poem and overall understanding of the poem today in this video i will be doing the first the second and the third stanzas explanation next day we will get the fourth fifth since there are six stanzas we will divide into two parts so i'll be reading the lines every line and explaining the line in detail real detail so you'll just pick up the lines and hear my explanation so you will get a better better power of understanding so i go right now it was roses roses all the way so this line the introductory line is spoken by the patriot now i had told you in the previous thing it is very important for you all to know who is a patriot in our india a patriot as we know is a desh bhakt desh bhakt a person that does good for his country who serves his country to the extent of even sometimes losing his life for in the service of his country so here we have this particular patriot telling an experience of his life okay so again another thing that i would like to tell you all that he is the speaker and he is speaking of an event that happened exactly one year ago the event that is been spoken of in the first and the second stanzas is a flashback of one year back right don't get mixed up it, the present time is from the stanza third fourth and fifth onward so he is in a present time but he is going one year back okay and what he says it was roses roses all the way it says one year ago he was so popular among his people that wherever he went whichever places he visited people adored him they threw flower petals on the road he never ever walked on plain mud of the plain road he walked on petals of roses and petals of myrtle myrtle again is a very beautiful flower very nice smell it has and people just laid the roads in front of him with these petals okay that is the adoration the love they showed him it was roses roses all the way all the way meaning that everywhere he went with myrtle mix in my path like mad meaning a lot a lot of petals were thrown were placed in his on his path the house roof seemed to heave and sway it says wherever he went people wanted to have a glimpse of him people wanted to look at him people wanted to see him he was so popular among his people that other than the roads being crowded with people either either side people just to look at him more clearly would climb on to rooftops they would be so congested so jam packed on the roofs that if you looked at a roof from far it seemed to be moving the roof never moves it is the heads of the people are so closely contacted to each other that when they are moving it seems to the patriot that the entire roof is swaying the roof is moving all this is showing his popularity how very very popular he was among his people okay the house roof stream to heave and sway he was move and from side to side the church spires flame that is the churches were decorated the churches were lit up with colorful bulbs on his return wherever he went whichever church he passed it was beautifully beautifully decorated as a welcome for him the church spires flamed such flags they had he said people decorated the churches and the compound with such beautiful flags and buntings and decoration it was unbelievable the reception the welcome he got from his people he was so popular among his people 
the church spires flamed such flags they had a year ago on this very day here he tells the audience or the readers exactly one year ago to this day all this was the type of greeting the reception he received from his very people right then we come to a second stanza the air broke into a mist with bells said wherever he passed the churches would ring their bells when church bells ring there are different ways of ringing the church bells and there could be a joyous occasion like a wedding or a celebration the time of that the bells are rung in a different way and people hearing them get into the mood of celebration so he's saying the air broke into a mist with bells he said wherever he passed whichever churches he went by the bells would chime and sweet sounds of bells could be heard in the heard in the vicinity the old walls rocked with the crowd and cries now he's exaggerating a bit also and he says there was such a you and cry there was such calling out to him that whenever he passed people would shout out and their shout would echo and with that echo it seemed that the walls would start to tremble the walls would start to move just with the crowds echo calling out to him a bit of exaggeration walls can't move walls can't shake with echo even okay so but he is just showing how famous he was how loved he was the old walls rock with the crowd and cries had i had i said good folks mere noise repel and here he is saying that if that day he had told his people control your shouting stop the shouting stop the yelling they would have immediately listened to him and he goes on to say but give me your son from yonder sky he says if he he was so popular among his people that if he said stop your crying out stop your shouting out and you can see the sun in the sky go up there and get that sun for me he is saying he is guaranteed that people would have done the impossible to please him no one can go anywhere close to the sun even but he says if i told them go and get me that sun from the sky they would have done that that is how much they appreciated him how much they wanted to please him he has that confidence that this was the feelings of his people for him right give me your son from yonder skies they had answered and afterwards what else so after getting him the son which of course is the impossible they would have done it in a jiffy in a second got the son for him to please him and after getting him the son they would have stood in front of him and asked him now what can we get for you now how can we please you that is his understanding of his people okay so here we have our second stanza done now third stanza he is now entering the present situation of his life presently what has happened to him what is taking place in his life the first and the second were just flashbacks okay get that in mind third stanza start a lark it was i who leaped at the sun now he is going into a reflective mode and he is going back to the second stanza where he told us that if he asked his people for the sun they would have obliged and given him the sun now he is saying it was not the people that leaped for the sun it was not the people that did the impossible in fact it was he as a true patriot who did his level best to please his people and to do things that were impossible to conceive impossible to do he would have done it for his people so allah it was i who leaped at the sun to give it my loving friends to him so i would have gone to the extent of getting the sun for my people and giving it to them meaning in reality is not the sun he meant to say that he would have done things impossible to think of to please his people and after pleasing them 
he would have told them okay this is for you now please yourself be happy with it and this is how he would have treated his people right to give it to my loving friends to keep not man could do have i left undone he says there is nothing imagined that he has left undone nothing nothing thought of that has been left undone and you see my harvest what i reap and he says look at the harvest what he is reaping today meaning that look at what his people have given him in return like he has gone to the extent of pleasing his people to unlimited modes to unlimited extents but today he is saying what i have got from my people in return okay you can see like in your own lives also you do so much your parents do so so much for you all yet when they tell you all they can't do a particular thing for you all one thing and then how you all turn against your parents that they couldn't do this thing for us it's same with the patriot also okay and you see my harvest what i reap this very day now a year is right said now exactly one year has passed since the flashback of the first and second stanza it's exactly one year has passed and now after one year i am getting back my harvest he is comparing himself to a farmer a farmer labors a farmer gives it everything to get a good crop does his best to get that crop growing to get the yield at its best yes and when the yield comes out when the crop is harvested the farmer is pleased with his harvest because the harvest goes to the market it is sold he gets the profit and he gets the reward for his hard labor and he says here is my reward for what i have done to please my people so this is the end of your third stanza we are going slow as i have always told you all the next video i will be doing the fourth fifth and sixth stanza so to this poetry the patriot the poet in fact is trying to give us an example of the frickle mindedness of people of human being people are never never satisfied you can do anything for anyone and they will still have some grouse against you okay so i'll end today's video and next time we meet it will be the fourth stanza onwards goodbye god bless